Hi everybody, welcome to part 7 of the tornado build and uh, this part I believe we'll do some uh, canopy masking and start base coating the whole airplane mm, as you may have noticed I'm a bit further ahead with uh, the construction than part 7 will show I'm actually working on some decals there which I will show in I think part 8 so there's that um, I hope you enjoy this episode let's see what I did let's go off the cockpit parts or, or, or paint them hmm. the masking a go. Let's move in that one a little bit. I'll go with this one. straight edge Just so also take a piece of this one. There. Let's check if my coffee is not too hot. I think I'm gonna try and put it along this edge here. it's on there really uh, good I think <laughs> properly One trick I was told, but I never got it to work really. This 
with a sharp pencil you could should run along uh, the ridges to uh, make I should probably just stop doing that and tell you that run along the uh, the edges so uh, the tape will stick uh, there and you have a visual line of where you uh, have to cut there Oops. There. That should do it. Now get my sharp knife. Hmm. Some more of the coffee. I have. Two. This is my general use one, and this is my sharpest one. It's basically the same thing, only this has a fresh blade in it that I almost exclusively use for this kind of work. So. Maybe. It would be better if I do this zoomy thing again. Beep. Like that. I'll probably get, get my head in shot. No? Nice. So gently. Uh, I'm not sure what it's called in English. Um, just don't cut it in, in one go, just very gently let the knife uh, do the work for you. So you can go over it two or three times and then. Uh, You feel it come off. I trouble with the corners, so... Let's do this. There we go. So far, so good. This needs a little bit... Tension there. There we go. That wasn't too bad. So that's the first part done. Um, 
yeah, the principle is the same for all the other parts. I think uh, Tony did a lengthy video on the whole process uh, to show you how long it actually takes and how much. Oh, uh, there we go. How much? How time-consuming it really is. So yeah, I'm not gonna show you all of it. Um, actually quite pleased how this came out. I did scratch uh, the plastic a bit, but yeah. Hopefully the paint will just uh, fill in that little mark. And also if there's any uh, piece where the, the tape is accidentally on the uh, uh, part that needs to paint, then uh, we can always come back later on with a brush, so that should be all right. Zip that thing again. Probably not the best idea in the world to drink coffee when you're going to do masking of canopies and such. So. <clears throat> I actually found a way to make my own life easier while masking canopies. Use smaller tape. So <clears throat> if I can find where it starts, yep. I was there we go. I was thinking about uh, when I did this and all the cutting around the edges is really a thing I hate. Uh, also I missed uh, completely missed the line uh, where to cut, so I basically screwed up the whole canopy with that, so I was thinking, hmm, what would be easier to do? So, what would be easier to do? Make a small outline and fill that in with either tape or uh, mask hole or stuff like that. So. I'm gonna try the zoomy bit again. Mm. Right about there. Let's give this a straight, straight ish edge. Is that in shot? No, it's just out of shot. Doesn't matter. Uh, what I got is. Two mil wide tape, which is not as sticky as the Tamiya one. Um, I don't know the brand, so I bought that. I don't know, a few years ago. It's a, it's a, a little bit more flexible, so let's see if we can get it on there properly. There. That almost seems right. Keep it in focus. Or in shot, really. So this is now all lined up. Basically, instead of having to cut the whole 
curve of the canopy I only have to cut the 2 mil piece and then I can choose from whatever tape I have lying around to fill in the rest of the canopy so the rest is basically the same principle just make sure it's um, snug and then Look where the lines are. I'm constantly going out of shot with this, I guess. Because one, two, three, four, five centimeters, and my line is down there. So, well, my line, my. <laughs> if you cross this line, you're definitely out of the picture. Um, so yeah. Let's do that pencil trick um, I'll go and check with my eyes one sec so there's that one and So I beat the uh, markings and then again carefully I need to get my face closer There we go Shoot. Always right in the corner. There we go. Maybe, yeah. Check that real quick. Uh, seems okay. And the same on the other side. Closer. Mm. Bit too close. So what I've got now is just a two mil uh, tape on there, and I don't know if you can see, but I did the same on on this side, all the way around. Maybe I can catch it in the light. Mm. No. Well, I'll go around with the two mil tape and then um, just fill in the rest, and that works a lot better for me than doing this. So I'll continue on with that. Oop. There we go, and after that we'll uh, temporarily glue the canopy in place and prepare for some priming. Which means masking off the black parts 
or the grey parts even of the wing if at all necessary. Because we'll be spraying like this. So yeah. See right. you in a bit. Finished masking of the canopy, so it is now time to temporarily glue it on the airplane. Um, it's gonna cover part of this and I'm not sure what color the inside must be, so we'll do that at the end of the build. Um, got some, uh, I don't know, hobby glue stuff, which even when dry is removable with a little bit of water. So that shouldn't be a problem. Let's just put a bit on here, like a few small drops should do the trick, I guess. And then just glue this roughly in place. Like that. Same goes for this one. Up there, that should do the trick. The downside of this glue is it takes some time to dry, so we'll leave it off to the side. Um, preparing the other parts um, for airbrushing. Excuse me. So. I got one dilemma, the air intakes. I'm not sure if I actually have to uh, glue them on first or paint them first and also how to mask uh, the inside with the, let's get the old model. <laughs> wheel wells, uh, you can put moist toilet paper in there and just stuff it in. This I'm not sure if it is the same color as the underside will be, then we shouldn't have an issue. Let's check quickly. Nope. So, I have to think on that. Um, something in there. Uh, yeah, I guess taping this off will be... Uh, quite difficult, I think, so... Thinking of going with the uh, toilet paper. Let's just try the toilet paper thing. Of 
H2O. Just a few drops, you don't need it soaking wet, so. Just let it uh, go through to the inside. There we go. Well, basically, we should be able to just gently I might have a bit too much to start with um, Just stuff it in there, basically uh, Let's prepare the airbrush because I think yeah I got my point two needle in there and for this stuff uh, you want a bigger needle <laughs> yellow. Very funny. <laughs> I should put it in the uh, ultrasonic bath. But I guess I'll do that after we uh, base coated the whole thing. So, on the tip, and now <laughs> the needle. Gently put it in that. Oh, I'm tired. I've been working in, uh, in the garden all day. It's not my backyard garden, but uh, we have a piece of land uh, where we grow, grow vegetables and stuff. And I've been there for most of the day and been hauling stones and just getting out weeds and stuff like that. So that's an exercise, really. So I'm a bit tired. It's something I enjoy doing, so there's no problem. It also beats sitting in an office for over eight hours a day. So yeah. All right, there we go. Um, we need some air. And some space. And my trusty piece of cardboard. Now I've given this a very good shake uh, before I started the video. Also, I know there's paints uh, that have little metal balls in them, 
Say in the container. Uh, Valeo hasn't yet. So I just added these um, glass balls uh, to help the, uh, the, the, the stirring of the paint. So I know there's a joke there. I'm gonna leave it out there. <laughs> so, yeah. That works. Got the mandatory glove. Always knock things over. So just some primer there. Check the flow. Yep, that works. So I'm gonna start with the uh, the top just missed some on there. I know I didn't uh, mask that part off, so I looked at the uh, instructions again, and this is going to be uh, black as the rest of the wing, so no problems there. Let's put it on the actual cardboard. So this is a really, 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 really light coat, just to give uh, the next coat something to grip on. So that concludes part 7 of the tornado build. I hope you uh, enjoyed this episode. Uh, if you did, you can like my video uh, below. Also I'm on Facebook and Twitter. I'll paste the links in the video description. And I uh, hope to see you next time. Bye bye. Right, that concludes part 7 of the build. I hope you did. <laughs>